Hey guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is part six on What If Deku Had Blaze the Cat Powers, part six. Sai Hay Hedgehog versus Flare Cat. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. Zuku Mado Zumi Midoriya was getting ready for the next match, doing stretches and sees Silver uh, getting, stopping Mina from moving and pushes her back and getting her out of the ring. The winner is Silver from the, from ring out. And Mina says, ah, dang it. Silver says, Sorry about that, Mina, but I want to win this one as well. Scra scratching his head, and Mina says, Hmm, oh well, still, if anybody I lose to, it's gotta be you. Mina and Silver both grab hands, and Silver pulls her up, raises her hand, and the whole fans cheered and Silver goes to the lounge and Blake Zumi says, huh, you're doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at him at a good cheerful way, Silver says, hmm, it's nice to see you're in a good mood. By the way, how did we get to the girlfriend and boyfriend thing? And putting his finger and pointing at each other. So he says, you're always the one that helps me out. And you're, you saved me a few times. Sometimes. I think of uh, things, and I really like it. And Silver getting a blush out of hearing that, and gets a little blustered and says, Oh, I guess if one of us gets in to the finals, then I won't lose. And Jimmy says, Me neither. Let's do our best. And Zumi hugs Silver and says, I'll do my best. And you do yours. And kissing him on the cheek, and Silver says, Stop doing that! Zumi says, Sorry, you just look cute doing that. Zumi and Ida take place and Zumi speed blitz him. There's honestly no saying because not only our acceleration increases by time and Silver speed is regulated to his psychic abilities. So Ida only can keep pace with them with his recipro burst for about a couple seconds. So Zumi wins and Silver and Bakugo face off. So Silver and Bakugo, this is gonna be a one way ticket. And Bakugo and Silver both are honestly even lean match. But when Bakugo hits his gloves, hmm, that's another story. And when Bakugo hits Silver's gloves, he says, huh, those are the equipment that help you control your psychic. Now I got you! Silver 
then uses his psychic, and in the flash of a moment, Bakugo can't move. Huh? What the? And Silver says, yeah, no. My gloves show when they alert, not it shows my psychic is ready. Pushes him back on the outside. And Silver wins by out. Ring out. And Bakugo was, you tricked me. Huh? I didn't trick you. You just hit, thought it was a weak point. That's on you. And Bakugo getting a little angry and says, fine, shape marijuana hair. Taking the win, Zumi and Silver are in the finals. Zumi has getting ready and Silver is getting ready to use his psychic abilities. Then when President Mike says go, a blur of speed of fire and psychic waves clash. Getting at a full speed of Zumi and Silver using their powers at a great pace. They're just as a blur. Silver tries to use his psychic to push her back, but Blaze dodges it thanks to her senses. And Silver blocks the kick from Zumi. And then they're at a stalemate. Then Zumi looks at Silver, heats her flames up. Acceleration goes to an increasing start, and her flames turn to blue. And Silver says, All right, this is our final stance. The two clash with each other, and both running at full speed. Zumi speed goes down a bit by running fast, going falling back, seeing she's going to be out of the ring. Then Zumi says, yeah, I need to get more speed. And then her flames grow bigger. And then Zumi sees a color of a emerald and was wondering what the that's the same emerald go and touch it but then when she was running at full speed she her flames increased and burst into a 3.2 nanoseconds bursting and knocking out silver Sumi says, what the, looking at her hands, then look and says, silver, and grabbing and holding silver, and says, are you okay? And silver says, ow, ugh, never thought that would hurt, ow. Uh, and midnight says, silver, can you, Still go on, and Silver says, mm, "Nope, I'm gonna see." And Midnight says, "The match is over. Zui Midoriya wins by default, and Zui gets first place." Zui carrying Silver on her back says, "Sorry about that, Silver." Silver says. It's okay. Just the first time that I've seen you get so happy. It's just great to help. And then Silver quote a one 
word that says E art up uh, best that I fall in love. And Zumi drops him and says, huh? And Silver says, ow. And Zumi says, oh, sorry. Zumi and Silver have gotten and uh, healed. Bakugo takes third place. Ida takes third place as canon, but doesn't come because of what? Because of the phone call about his brother. Silver takes second. Zumi takes first. Her parents are proud of her. Then Zumi in all of Class 1A had to choose their name. Silver choose Psychic Hawk Hitchhawk. Zumi choose Blaze. Blaze the cat. Midnight says, doesn't it's perfect for you. It just sounds a little boyish when somebody thinks of it. Then Zumi and Silver and all of Class 1A see how many how much they have. And yeah, not surprising. Zumi takes first on that skip. Mm, Most like thanks to her parents, but Zumi gets a little annoyed at that. And Silver takes second, surprisingly, thanks to his competing with Princess Z Zumi. Zumi and all of Class 1A pick their jo jobs. And Zumi goes to one of her other friends when she goes to the job that she signed. Then she hears heads up and electricity goes, flies by her and Zumi dodges. Then sees a girl with white hair. Is that you? ZT? ZT says, <laughs> been a while, Zumi. ZT was her friend back when they were elementary schools. Her quirk is electro vines, where she creates electricity around her. And Zumi says, it's been a while. I haven't seen you since we were separated. <laughs> of course, we haven't seen each other. You are always the most athletic one. And Sumi says, <laughs> Oh, stop. You're making me blush. Hey, I'm, I'm still keeping up with you. <laughs> A rivalry we still have in El elementary? ZT says, yep. <laughs> and then they hear the boss. Stop it, you two. And hearing a familiar voice. Oh, my lady, I didn't thought you would come. And Sumi says, ah, it's better than the other ones. Zumi says his name, Uncle. And Zumi and his and her uncle have the most better relationship without her, him completely protecting her. But yeah, she was reluctantly willing to do this. If her mom died back, keep their backs away from him. Her. They go and watch the ground and see and telling her that to better watch out for anything. To tell them what's going to happen. Then at night, Zumi and her, well, 
sort of fan her hero that she knows. Here, explosions. No moves come out. Izumi also hears something else. Her ear flickers. Hmm? Is that Ida? And then the his her uncle says, You gotta go! Her uncle says, Izumi, what's the matter? Um I hear one of my classmates. Her uncle says, Really? Where is he? Hmm. Somewhere to the alleyway? Huh. Well, we better get there quick. Well, I gotta deal with this. ZT, you follow Izumi. ZT says, right there. Follows Izumi. I gotta, we need to get there fast. And Izumi accelerates her fire and grabs on, grabs ZT's hand and Rush there. Whoa! I haven't forgotten about that. ZT getting a little remind memories of back then when they were kids. Sumi gets to Ida's place and sees the hero killer, Stain. Says, Ugh. Man, remind me not to piss you off. Zuti remembers oh wait. Then sees Stain, the hero killer. Zumi and Zuti gets prepared to take a battle. Burning Stain. And Zumi face off with Stain. And looks at Ida, nearly getting brutal. And Zumi and Ida face off with the hero killer, Stain. And Zumi says, Zida, get Ida out of there. Zida says, How do I? And Zumi first attacks Stain. And Zita says, okay. So we're going with our infinite doing while doing while I do try to get the job done. And to me burns the knives that stain through and stain says This is getting annoying. Now you're going to hurry for this. And then Stain whips out his katana. And Zumi says, Better think of something else. Because my fire can heat up even steel. And when Zumi kicks the sword out of his hand, Dane then threw a secret knife, cutting Zumi's cheek and making a little mark. Zumi then, huh? Then Stain licks Zumi's cheek of blood and Zumi says, Ew! Her body stops moving. Huh? What the? Did he use this quirk? And Stain says, Huh. You're willing to put yourself in the line and help the people. Zita says, get away from her. Using her electricity, Zumi says, Zita, be careful. Don't let him lick your blood. 
And Zeta says, what the? Is he a weirdo? And then a knife gets thrown. And Zeta can't. Turns into a knife on her own. And it says, huh. Don't worry. I got the objects to deal with him. Stay and get him. My butt says, doesn't matter. I'll have justice on this world of plague of tyranny. And then when the hero killer tries to swing his katana at, she kicks it up and then a deception with stain and about to cut Zeta and Zumi tries to move then her fire accelerates with the soul emerald and Zumi says what the it's an emerald and bursts and kicks stain from coming near her friend and says yeah, that was close mm. her squirt I think is blood latch the quirk that affects the blood so me and Z go into their fighting sense Z Sting attacks and Zeta and Zumi both attack at the same time. Hope you like karate. Zeta says, Zumi says, in a well placed kick, hitting at the same time, knocking him out. Zumi carries Ida and carries the that carries the hero. Everything is going a bit canon, but the only different is that Zumi told that there was somebody who's in trouble. So she gets credit. And that's all on this video. I hope you like this subscribe. Hope you like and subscribe. See you next time. Bless all.